Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Just recently, I was thinking about what my ferrets are good at other than being adorable. So then I went binging and then I saw a video of a cat painting. And there was also a ferret lady showing her ferrets how to paint. And I instantly thought, my ferrets can do this. So today we will be ferret painting. Hopefully this goes well. So because there's no white paper in my house, I'm using envelopes. So I'm going to cut up some envelopes. And so all you will need to do this is some white paper, some paint, and some Ziploc bags, depending on how many ferrets you have. So we'll throw that away, same as the scissors. We don't need those right now. Oh wait, we do need these, because I use an envelope. So we're just gonna cut it up. And you can use paints like I did. I am using some of my paints, because I have a lot of them that I need to get rid of. So first I'm gonna do it in Lily, because she's up right now. Okay, come on, baby. So all we're gonna do is put her here and let her pick three colors. Okay, baby? You want purple? Okay. What's the next color? Green and orange. Okay, you can pick one more. I'll say you knocked over that one first. So then you're gonna put your fair away for a while. So we don't need them anymore. And then you're gonna grab your piece of paper that you have Make sure that it fits in your Ziploc bag because that was my problem before. So all you're going to do is grab their paint and then just splatter some of the paint. So she picked this nice mango orange, I'm going to say it is. Neon orange it's called. And then she picked this nice shiny purple. I think this might turn out good. I don't know about the green, really, but this will turn out pretty cute. And then you're just going to splatter in zigzag patterns anywhere, really. And then she also picked this pretty cool dark green that looks like that, and they call it leaf green. she lastly picked some shiny neon green or no she picked another one too and then lastly she picked a bright orange to show you this too this looks pretty cool right now i think that lily you did a really good job and now just to show you what it looks like. Looks like this. So you're just gonna splatter paint around any, anywhere. I think four was a little bit much, but it's okay because what we're gonna do now is put it in a Ziploc bag. Try to do this without splattering the paint up the Ziploc bag. The lady who first did this name is the Friendly Neighborhood Ferrets. I would totally recommend you checking her out. I can cut this thing to fit a little bit better. Okay, then you lock up the zip-clock bag. And then you have your paint inside here. You're gonna put it down. Now I'm just going to change the camera angle. And now here's where your ferret actually comes into this project because they have not done much yet, to be completely honest. So, no, no, then I don't need you right now. I need Lily. Lily, come on out. Come on out of your house. Come on, baby. So then you're going to get your ferret. Now this looks super fun, so I can't wait. What my idea is, is to, after this, put this 
on top of those little Dollarama plaster things and then make them little Christmas ornaments. So now your bear is just going to walk around and make sure your Ziploc bag is fully tightened. And then you're just going to let them step all over the painting. And then in the end, they'll make beautiful art. And when they step on it, they move the paint around. Make sure Ferret's not digging the bag because then they could rip it and eat the paint. And they'll also look crazy colors. And you don't want a white ferret looking crazy colors. And it's just not healthy for them. So she's mixed it around so it's now turned into this brown mush. Hopefully this turns into something that looks... Okay, Lily. Now you go eat. Eat some more. I know, I'm sorry. Next, we're going to do one for Melvin. So we're going to grab our piece of paper. And now I'm just going to put all these paints back. Okay, so now I think I am ready to do Melvin's. I only have two ferrets at the moment, so I will not be doing five like the friendly name neighborhood ferret did. So I have a ferret and he needs to pick four or three colors. Pink and red. Okay. What other one do you want, buddy? Pink and blue. Okay, that's four. I think this actually could work good. I think the blue doesn't really match Melvin, but thank you. Thank you for helping us, Melvin, and into the cage for now. Now we have Melvin's colors, and we're just gonna put it onto his little paper once I finish. Okay, this is a bad paper. I don't want that. Okay, so we're just gonna cut out a new piece of paper. Okay, so now we're gonna put in some red. I knew Lily would pick purple just because I feel like she's someone who would like the color purple. I'm working for this. But I'm surprised about Melvin. I don't know. I don't know what I expected him to pick. I didn't think it would be so much red. Okay. Now another color red. This is neon red. It looks pretty cool. It looks like this. It has a little bit more of a pinky look because it's neon. And then its other color picked was deep red. So there is quite a big difference between those two. But I think these look pretty good so far. Then he picked some blue and I'm not sure how this will work. It looks like a whole bunch of it will come out. He just picked poster paint. It doesn't say what shade of blue, if you were wondering. This just came with an art easel that I bought a few years ago, so I've been just trying to use it up. I don't know if this will even work good to po poster paint. I just picked a whole bunch of things with my eyes closed, a few colors, and left quite a few, but it felt like this was enough. Okay, that was a lot, Melvin. Okay. I'm going to go put some more of these colors on because that's a lot of blue. And then you're just going to wait, depending on how much paint you took on. This one will need more time just because there's going to be a lot of layers of paint on this thing. But depending on how much paint you took, you're probably going to need to wait about an hour for it to dry. I'm not 100% sure. I've never done this before. I'm just trying it for the first time. I'm just going to put some of this pink on. Okay. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing that we did last time, where we're going to put it in an envelope. Melvin, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Now, what you could do is put their name on it. I was going to do that, but I didn't have name stickers, so all you need to do is get a sticker of a letter and then put that on before you put the paint on, and I think that would look pretty cool, so I'm going to try that after this. I will put that 
in the video too, actually. Okay, so now I have this in the thing, the Ziploc bag. I have it all flattened out. I'm gonna get these scissors out of here. And now Melvin, come here, buddies. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Now it's for the painting part. And now he's gonna step all over it again. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. That's paint. We don't need to worry about that right now. I know it's a lot of, a lot of cool sm smells. But let's just work on painting, buddy. You're gonna be a little Picasso. No, not Van Gogh. I, I like your little ear, okay? Your ear is so soft, buddy. Your ear is so soft. Okay. Painting time. Okay, this looks pretty good. So it just needs to look mush. It does not need to look super mush, just a little bit mush. Now, as I said earlier, I could not find stickers of letters at my local's, local Dollarama. So what I'm gonna do is cut some tape. And I think that should work pretty well. Um, I have some tape here. Almost done, so I should be able to finish it this little bit. So I need to make an M and an L. I'm first gonna make an L just because I feel like Lily should get to do it first because she did her other one first. So I'm gonna make the tape a little L onto it. Good boy, Melvin. Put it in the litter box. That's what I like to see. Okay. So now I have taped a little L onto it. And then we're just going to repeat the exact same process. So before I do that, I feel like I want to do this part first, do Melvin's too, just so I'm doing them all at the same time. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. I'm doing no measurement. I'm just cutting out squares. So if you wanted, you could do any measurements you'd like. I'm just saying I don't... They're probably all going to be different sizes, to be honest. Um, just go with the flow. gonna use the tape. We're gonna make a little M. You can do whatever letters you like for your ferret depending on what your ferret's name is. In the comments if you'd like you can tell me your ferret's names. I'd like to hear some. I bet there's some really cute ones out there. I did not get to name my ferrets, to be honest. Um, my ferrets came with their names, but I like them. Melvin's pretty cute, and I've always liked the name Lily, so. Okay, now I've made an M. I don't think the M looks as good as the L. But it still looks like what it's supposed to be. I'm going to go get some more Ziploc bags. Really, this time I want you to pick three colors. You picked too many last time. No, that's, I know that's your painting and it looks very nice. But I want you to pick some colors, okay baby? Red. <laughs> Red. Orange. Okay, that's three, baby. I think you picked some very nice colors, but... Two of them look the exact same, so pick one more. Blue! That is a very pretty blue, I gotta say, I like that. Blue is my favorite color, so I'm happy you picked that, Lily. This one probably will work with the tape thing, I really don't know. Um, this sort of thing doesn't really work for me, but let's see if it will. First time for everything. Now, I just noticed that one of my paints ran out. So I'm going to be using red that's the exact same color in hopes that this one has not already run out. We're just going to put some paint everywhere. And then we're going to put some more paint. 
This one has never been used, so hopefully this one will work. There we go. Not a lot to come out of it. Oh, that's a nice red. Nice bright colors. I think this might look good. Yet again, my parents picked like a whole bunch of colors that matched and then one random blue out of nowhere. I actually think this would look good just the way it is because it looks pretty cool, but I don't think it will cover all of the paint of the, the tape of the L. So that's a problem. We want it to cover the whole thing or it won't really look like an L or whatever letter you want to do it for. So whatever letter you want, if you even want one, it will look different than mine. That's the nice thing about this is because it's like a real painting where all of the paintings will look different in the end. And this is like something you can just do to bond with your favorite more. So I really like this activity. Um, yeah. So now, where did I put the supplies? They're probably right in front of me. Right in front of me. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna just put this in. Before I do, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I made some edits, and that looks pretty cool. I think this is gonna turn out nicely. Hmm. Okay. Slide it in. Try not to let the paint touch the top yet, just because then it's you making a difference and not the ferret. Not that the ferret really does much in this. It's just cute for them. I really like this craft. Okay, Lily, Lily baby. Get back in your cube. Come on, so you can go to sleep. This is how fast my ferrets go to sleep if you're not playing with them. She's all worried to sleep. Your ferrets may not be like this, but mine are lazy. They only like playing for 15 minutes outside, and then they'll just fall asleep for the rest of the day, so. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh. No, we're not picking more colors, baby. We're painting now. Yeah, we're painting. Look at paint. Oh, no. Yeah, we're not picking colors. Is this a distraction for you, for all the painting there? I like how you just stand on it when I leave you. Of course, the second I say that, you don't do it. Okay, I think she's saying she's done and she likes the way that it looks, which means that I like the way that it looks because I like Lily. Okay. So in the end, this one looks like this. This looks pretty awesome. So where's Melvin's? Okay, Melvin, I'm gonna put these back up. And Melvin, this is your time to shine. I want you to pick some yellows and oranges. I guess you did water and oranges. Like yellows and some bright colors. Other than red and orange. You've all only done red and orange, it feels like to me. I don't know. So pick some colors like green and teal. How about that, buddy? Can you do that for me? Okay. He went straight to orange, of course. Let's go in this direction. Really, another orange? Okay, buddy. I'm giving you a reset on that one just because you knocked over like five of them. So Melvin, try again. Red, come on, buddy. Okay, one more. Blue and yellow. Okay, this I think could actually look nice if Melvin does a good job with his painting. I think this could look nice. Okay, Mom, say goodbye. Okay, now we're gonna just put the paint down. Let's start with the darker colors. You can start with whatever. I'm totally not starting with the dark ones for some reason. But let's see how this will look. Okay, looking good so far. Not looking bad at least, which is a win for me. Then we have some blue. Okay, 
now we just have two more colors until we do an edit. So then we can see what it looks like in the end in two seconds. Because that's fun. I love technology. Okay. No, then this yellow isn't really working. See? Okay, this yellow is officially empty, or at least I can't get anything out. It's probably not empty. But so we're gonna use this other yellow that looks the exact same. So I hope this counts. Because Melvin did knock this one over, but I didn't really count it. Just, I don't really know why. But okay, now for the last painting, Melvin's going to step on it. And Melvin, you shall make a masterpiece. Okay. Melvin, I believe in you. And I believe that this is going to turn out awesome. I think this is going to be the best one. It kind of got squished on the way in, but it still looks pretty good so far. Now we're going to have Melvin come back out, already back to sleep, of course. Okay, buddy, come on. This is the last time. So now we're making four paintings. Now let's step all over it. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, you're stepping on it. You're painting, buddy. I know, it's so easy. They always make it seem so hard. Right, buddy? Okay, no. Work on the painting. I know, I know. Paints are interesting, aren't they? I know. I know, buddy. Just work with me on this one. Work with me, please. Okay. I think you're done. Goodbye. To see the flashback. It is one day later and Melvin is ready to take on the day and to show everyone that he is a Picasso, right? Yeah. When no one believed in him, he still went through and showed everyone so far. So we're just going to see how the paintings turned out. Now I just need to remember this one's Lily's, just as a recap, looks very nice. This one's Melvin's first one. This one is Melvin's second one. It got a little bit brown, but it's still pretty good. Now this one's Lily's second one, which I'm kind of worried about. It looks like there's a lot of paint. I might need to wait till tomorrow just to see. But if I feel it, it feels pretty wet. But I really want to see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go for it. Okay, let's see here. Get it on me necessarily. Okay. It's kind of sticking to the top. But you're just going to nicely peel it off. Carefully. Carefully. I do not know how I'm doing this. Or how I'm going to do this. Okay. Now just try not to change it because you don't want to still say that your ferret did it. There we go. That looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like. This is Lily's. Now, um, it kind of went through the paper, so now the paper is wet. So I'm going to put another layer of paper on this. But before I do that, I'm just going to put this guy away. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this one looks drier, so this one might actually go better. This one was Melvin's. These Ziploc bags are not reusable, just so you know. You need to throw them all out. Do not use them. That looks pretty awesome, I gotta say. Melvin, I'm proud of you, buddy. Now, oh, going back to bed. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go get their puppy pad. I'm just going to put them on here. This so has a nice blue background. Yes. 
I don't care. This gets paint on it. Okay, so so far we have two very beautiful paintings made by Lily and Melvin. Next, we're going to open the wands with letters on them. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. But let's see. This is our problem. Okay. I have a solution to our problem. We get scissors. Scissors can help me in any type of situation like this. So all I'm going to do is cut the bag open because... This is just how I do things. So then we're gonna open up the bag fully and cut it open. And I feel like this works way better. Okay, I actually pay to see this. A ferret made this. That is crazy. I love this. It doesn't look as good on camera, I gotta say. But in real life, this looks pretty epic, I gotta say. And, of course, your hands will get painty. I know that's not the right grammar, but I don't know what else it could be. Okay, now we open up the bag. This one looks like it has way more paint on it. So this one may not go as well. Wait, there was supposed to be a letter on that. The tape didn't come out. I'll try to figure this out. I just noticed that paint gets on your scissors. That's a downside to using that. Oh, this stuff is so pretty. This is such a fun project to do with your ferrets. I would totally recommend doing this. This was not a waste of my precious sandwich bags that were $1 for a hundred of them. I would totally recommend doing this. It was not hard to do. It helps you bond with your ferret, I think. Just because if you do fun things with your ferret, then you'll want to spend more time with them. And this was just really epic. I can't figure out how to get the letters off so we can actually see the name, but, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. But this still is some really pretty pictures that my ferret have actually made. And I can't believe that I am a mama to such geniuses and Picassos that made this without any help. Well, maybe a little bit of help, but not much help. And that's the point. And this was super fun. Other than that, I got it cut by my scissors, but that's fine. This is awesome. I would totally recommend doing this with your parents.